but the other journalist he pointed to was Justin Bell, a former FIA GT champion and 24 Hours of Le Mans class winner, and it suddenly became clear that I will be the anchor in this equation but I'm getting a little ahead of myself here that's easy to do with 730 horsepower at the command of your right foot, and a naturally aspirated, 6.5 liter V12 singing behind your head the Aventador S replaces the new in 2012 standard Aventador and, even at first glance, it's clearly more track focused. For example, Lamborghini redesigned the front end to improve airflow to the engine's radiators and enhance aerodynamics, which also ratchets up the visual aggression we've never complained that the Lamborghini Aventador is too slow it produces 690 horsepower and hits 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds not bad the new Aventador S, at 730 horsepower, is more powerful and Lamborghini paired with a revised rear splitter, Lamborghini says the S is now 50% more aero efficient while providing 130% more downforce than the outgoing model. Some of the additional downforce comes from a new active rear wing, which varies between three different positions based on speed and selected drive mode. Speaking of drive modes, the S gains a much needed, though perhaps questionably named, Ego mode, which adds a fourth option alongside Strata, Sport and Corsa that allows the driver to create a preset which brings together their preferred traction, steering and suspension settings.